India's next generation main battle tank and high endurance autonomous underwater vehicle project has not cleared the technology demonstration phase as it was reported initially, but actually both these projects have now been cleared for the technology demonstration phase, and we had already corrected the news within few hours of posting the video, and even pinned the mistake in the comment section. According to a report by Parliamentary Standing Committee on Defence, the DRDO needs additional funds for the Next Generation Tank, AMCA Programme and Unmanned Aerial Combat Vehicle Programme. The development cost of the Next Generation Main Battle Tank will be around 5,000 crore rupees, and the first prototype will be ready in five years from the time the project is formally sanctioned. The FMBT will be a highly mobile tank weighing less than 50 tons, that will be powered by a 1,500 horsepower indigenous engine that will be two-thirds the size of the Arjun Mark I engine, and the DRDO has also formed a national team that comprises members from Indian Army, top institutions and Indian defense industry, and will also include an international consultant for the engine program, and both the indigenous engine and transmission will together be called the Bharat Power Pack. The Indian Army and DRDO have formalized the preliminary specifications qualitative requirement, and the DRDO has ruled out an electromagnetic gun, but being a modular design, the FMBT can be easily upgraded when new technology is available. The DRDO has already chosen the heavy vehicle factory in Ivadi as the FMBT production line, while several micro small and medium enterprises will supply small components and subsystems for the project. The Indian Air Force has decided to equip 150 Su-30 fighter jets with two wet hardpoints under the Super Shukhoi program. The wet hardpoints are actually the hardpoints that are used to carry external fuel tanks, and the use of two such wet hardpoints will enable the Super Shukhoi to carry two drop tanks carrying a total of 1,400 kg of additional fuel. The Su-30 has an internal fuel carrying capacity of 9,640 kg, that gives it to ferry range of 3,000 km, which means that the Super Shukhoi will have an enhanced ferry and combat radius, and the wet hard points will also reduce the need for mid-air refueling when tackling two-front situation against China and Pakistan, and also while participating in cross-continent air exercises with the air forces of friendly countries. If there is no need to carry two fuel tanks, the wet hardpoints can also be used to mount air-to-air -air missiles like other hardpoints. Hindustan Times has reported that the Indian Navy has approached the Modi government for approval to make changes in the Cabinet Committee of Security approved 30-year-old submarine building plan by replacing six conventional attack submarines with nuclear-powered platforms. Along with the 6P-75 and 6P-75I submarines, the Indian Navy wanted six more AIP-equipped diesel submarines, but the national security planners convinced the Navy admirals that nuclear attack submarine is a much more potent platform with the capacity to stay below surface for months and only surface for crew change and logistics. After the approval, the Navy will approach the Defence Ministry for acceptance of necessity, and will invite request for proposals from close partner countries for joint development and building of the six nuclear-powered submarines under the Make in India initiative. The DRDO will soon be procuring an Airbus A320 aircraft from the Indian airline company Air India, that will be used as an in-house flying test bed aircraft for various airborne radar programs, including the indigenous Utam Mark IV radar for AMCA 5.5 generation fighter jets, next generation AWACS program and Indian Navy's multi-mission maritime aircraft senior suite program. The currently operated HS-748 aircraft has its service ceiling limitations, so the testing of radars at higher altitudes is not possible, and using A320 as a flying test bed could mean that labs can obtain better data at a much faster rate than ever before, and technologies will be tested at higher altitudes and faster speeds. 
The Indian Navy frigate INS Talwa was spotted with active towed array sonar system, which provides high-resolution target detection and is the backbone of anti-submarine warfare. India had signed a contract with the German firm Atlas Electronic in 2017 for the towed array sonar systems, and the first six systems had come directly from Germany for the Comrata class anti-submarine corvettes, and the rest will be manufactured in India under cooperation with Bharat Electronics Limited, that will be equipped on remaining ships including Delhi class and Kolkata class guided missile destroyers. <laughs> Oh, Mark, drop it.